Good Monday morning, St. Thomas More. So here we are the morning following the awesome display and commitment to walking with Christ, the pilgrimage yesterday. Also today, the church recognizes the feast of St. Teresa of Avila. So we now pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, in, in our prayer to St. Thomas More, we ask that we be more like St. Thomas More. Help us to turn to our strong school community in times of need. Show us that we are all different in a good way with the diversity within our community. Give us enthusiasm as we succeed in academics and athletics and in good service. Lead us to become better people, just as the leaders at our school do so. Celebrate with our victories and be with us through our sorrows. Make us understand that we are all unique people, and at St. Thomas More, you can fit in anywhere. For we know that whether we are all together or far apart, we are never truly alone. You and our school community will always be there. St. Thomas More and St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So, good morning once again, St. Thomas More. And yesterday, for those of you that were there at the beautiful celebration of the Eucharist with our Bishop Tonus and also with Monsignor Philippe, uh, there at Cathedral High School, and then making our way along Wentworth and then up the rail trail. It was certainly a beautiful demonstration of commitment and wanting to help those in need throughout the world who cannot walk. So we walk with Christ and we walk with each other to show this commitment. Thank you so very, very much to everyone who participated, uh, got on the bus here at St. Thomas More, traveled down, uh, participated in the mass and then also with leaving the mass going on the trail well something like yesterday's undertaking doesn't just happen by accident it is months and months of planning a big thank you to the board committee for the individuals there who worked together in making sure the day was a successful day and everything was planned for and here on staff two of our vice principals are on the uh, board committee. Actually, all three of our vice principals are on it. So a big thank you to Mr. Agro, Mr. Lawler, Mr. Monaco for the planning and all the work that was done yesterday. We also have a number of students, our student leaders, our prefects, our student council that were there. Uh, th a big thank you to Patrick Gagne who captured so many of the wonderful um, yesterday uh, times and the students that were participating along the trail. Also to our staff, to Mrs. Martiris, Mrs. Mazuka, Mrs. Dessaut, Mrs. Cicchetti, Mrs. Haley, Ms. Bose, and Mr. Block for all your uh, extraordinary help. The marshals along the way, a big, big part of making it successful. Big thank you to Mrs. Mankesey, Mrs. Danielowitz, Mrs. A. Danielowitz, Ms. Mossy, and Mrs. Kologeros, who came back to join us as well, wearing her St. Thomas More sweatshirt to show that she was with us in solidarity. So a fabulous, fabulous day. Thank you so very, very much. I understand the total count was over 3,000 students and staff and parents that were part of it. So thank you so very, very much. Also now on your monitor, you'll see some uh, photos from other uh, activities going on. Friday, our junior and senior football knights traveled down to Cathedral to play the Cathedral Gales and were victorious in both games. So congratulations, well done to football. We also have uh, girls basketball that uh, also took place. We hosted here at St. Thomas More. Thank you to the conveners. Thank you to our senior girls coaches, Mr. Bozzo, uh, Mrs. Bozzo, Ms. DeCampley, uh, for all your big commitment 
and all your work in making sure this was a successful tournament and we had a lot of other activities tournaments going on so well done st thomas more this week is a full week and a lot going on so please the students make sure you're keeping up with all your schoolwork remember that if you do need some extra help there's either resource or student success but always make sure first and foremost that you check with your teacher so whatever class you're in you go to your class first and foremost before heading off to either resource or student success for extra help and support. Have a great day, St. Thomas More. And once again, thank you so very, very much for your deep commitment to the 15th annual We Walk with Christ pilgrimage. Have a great day. Here's some more announcements. Peace be with you. And I too wanted to echo Ms. Cannon's words of thank you to all those who participated in the walk, especially those uh, teachers and the students who helped so much, help organizing this, uh, this event. And just wanted to remind you that now it's, we've done the walk, it was, it's good for us, it was good to show our support, but the support is being shown by the, uh, the, those who need the help, or help by money, so now it's the time to pledge and support them with our, our money. So those who returned the permission forms got a pledge sheet. So please bring it back by the end of the week. And also those who didn't participate in the walk but would like to con contribute some donations, you're welcome to do so. You can come and pick up a pledge sheet in my office and bring it back to my office or uh, bring it back to the cafeteria during period two and three and four. So once again, uh, please bring the permission of lead sheets by the end of the week. Thank you so much and have a blessed day, everyone. Hey, STM, I'm Claudia. And my name is Sharon, and we're here with your sports and activities. SCM is excited to bring a step squad ba back this year. Auditions will be held today after school in the cafeteria from 3 to 4. Please sign up outside uh, room 352. There will be a track and field meeting tomorrow after school in the student success office. Any students who are planning on running this year can order a yellow wind jacket. Please meet in the student success office room 141. See Miss Diamond in student success if you are unable to attend. The Robotics Club will be having a brief but mandatory meeting after school today in room 319. If you cannot attend, please see Ms. Torelli or Ms. Silvestri before the end of the day today. Do you enjoy solving puzzles and playing games? Do you like figuring out how things work and discovering new strategies for fixing problems? Today after school, the Moore Math Club will be having a meeting in Portable 2. All students are welcome to attend and any students with any questions should see Mr. Castellani. Now for your sports. The junior, the junior boys volleyball team participated in the St. John de Boeuf Invitational Tournament on Friday. The boys defeated Cathedral Royola and Bishop Tonis before suffering a close defeat to Hillfield. All boys played exceptionally well and should be commended for their efforts. Well done, boys. On Friday on the pitch, your Lady Knights had a convincing win over BT 4-0 in the quarterfinal action. We came out strong and never <laughs> let up. Goals were scored by T. Petrantonio, Matteo Day, Sierra Morelli, which was her first of the season, and Emily the Beast, Pires. Claudetta Pugliese with the shutout. Fantastic game, ladies. Come support us in semifinal action against Brebuff on Wednesday at Brebuff at 2 p.m. Go Knights, go. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. My name is Kaylee from our We Scare Hunger Executive Team. Um, so just a reminder that this week we are starting our raffle in the cafeteria on lunch periods two, three, and four, so please come on down. Also another reminder, tomorrow after school in the cafeteria, we are handing out packages for all the groups that signed up to go out the night of Halloween. So please, just one member from the group, it doesn't have to be everyone, please come down for a quick 20 minutes after school in the cafeteria to receive your packages. Thanks, STM.
Good morning, STM. Good morning. We're here to talk to you about the junior football raffle that is going on. Oh, before we start, congratulations, junior boys football. Uh, big win on Friday, 52 to 6 over Cathedral. Uh, now heading into our bye week, getting ready for BR in two weeks. Now, let's talk about that raffle. Um, the raffle is ending Wednesday following this one. So that's the 24th. That will be the day of the draw. Got to get out and get your tickets. We have great prizes. Uh, the, some of the prizes are four gold level tickets to Tie Cat games, signed Tom Brady photos, signed Antonio Brown photos, some free tie, golf. Tie Cat are doing very, very, very well this year. Um, $200 gift certificate to Zarkis. We got some great prizes, but the main prize is the one we want to talk to you about. Two round trip tickets to anywhere that WestJet flies for free. So, Mr. Turco's class, pay attention. Mr. Giovanangeli's class, pay attention. Seriously. Mr. Grilly, are you listening? <laughs> Get a grip, fellas. Now, some of the destinations that WestJet flies to, uh, all kinds of places in Canada. They fly to the Caribbean. They fly to Europe. Just hold on. The Caribbean. <laughs> when you win this prize, keep in mind that you must be 18 years old in order to actually go on the trip. Now, that doesn't mean you can't win it, give it to your parents with the stipulation that they take you on the trip as well. Or, if you happen to be in grade 12 or 12 plus and your birthday will be within the next year and you turn 18, you can take a friend on a trip anywhere. The Caribbean, can you put those? That's Car there, yeah. Or is that the Caribbean? Whoa. That's the United States is excellent. Mexico's one, Europe. Europe, oh, can you imagine? So you could go to Europe, take your mom and dad, or you and a friend to Italy, France, Germany, anywhere like that. It's amazing. So great prize. If, if you want to give it as a gift, you would be the best kid of all time. Like, what a present that is. Why buy another pair of socks for your dad? Right. A tie. Best dad ever. Mug. Yeah. Imagine, dad. Round I trip got plane you tickets. Oh, anywhere oh in the world. So, tickets are $5 each or five tickets for 20 bucks. Which is the, by far, more best prudent deal. decision. And we are limiting the number of tickets. So, are, how many left? There are only 300 tickets left. And how many do we start with? 2,000. 2,000. Your chance of winning if you buy five tickets is? One in 400. That's pretty good odds. That's pretty, well, it's one in like 30 million for the lottery. So one in 400 is pretty, pretty good. So take a look uh, starting tomorrow and the rest of the week in the cafeteria on periods three and four, or come and see myself or Mr. Leviza in the library, and we will get you hooked up with tickets. Big times around here, SCM. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, what's going on, STM? I'm here from your student council, and we're going to talk about the uh, some actual basketball games that are going on on Tuesday. Come support your junior, your senior, and your midget girls basketball as they take on SJB in our gym. Uh, also, remember to follow us on the Instagram account. It's on the lower third, like right there. Also, you know, so you can actually see all the pictures from those games if you didn't make it. All right, with that, STM, the time is now 8.36. Have a great day.